Hey, what's up? This is Space, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GitHub hosting or your GitHub pages with your custom domain. So, before proceed, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe us and also hit the bell icon to get notification about all of future videos. Now, if you done that, let's get started. So this is the part two of my previous tutorial and in my previous video I already show you how you can create your website with the github hosting and if you don't know how you can create your lifetime free hosting with the github then you can watch my previous video from the link in the description or, or you can also click on this top right corner and you can watch my previous video. So first of all you need a github hosted website or github hosted pages and if you don't know about that then you can watch my previous video. So once you create your website, next you need your domain. You can get a custom domain from any website, doesn't matter at all. You can go for the GoDaddy, BigRock, AON, Hostinger or any domain provider. For this video, I am using Freenom.com. Freenom.com is the website which provides you a free domain. It, this website will not provide your domains like .com, .in and for, from this website you will get domains like .tk, .ml and something like that. So it doesn't matter at all where did you get your domain, you just need your domain. So once you have your domain, next you have to go to GitHub, go to your account and find your repository of your website and select GS pages as your default branch and if you don't know how to do that, just follow me. Now just find this branches option over here and just type gh dash or minus pages and once you type that you will get an option to create a new branch and just create your new branch. I already create my new branch as my gh pages. Now once you have gh pages just select it. And now make sure that your gh pages is your default branch. And to make it default just go to settings find branches click on this default branch and select gh pages as your default branch and update it so once you done that just go to your repository select gh pages as your default branch and now here you have to create a new file now click on this create new file now here just type your new file name as cname all in caps and type your domain name here and just click on commit new file. So once you done that, now go to your domain provider. Now select your website and just find something like manage domain or manage DNS. Now in freenome website here you will get a manage freenome DNS. Now select this option and if you are using any other service provider like uh, GoDaddy or anything like that, you just have to find Manage DNS option. So once you get your Manage DNS option, here you have to add few things. Now first of all, you have to add CNAME. Now I will explain all these things later. First of all, let me add all these things. Now under the CNAME section here, you have to type your GitHub domain name and set detail as, as minimum as possible. The valid minimum TTL option is 300. Now set your target as your custom domain, whatever domain you are using. Once you done that, click on more records and here you have to type uh, your domain, your GitHub domain again and set type as a A and then select again minimum value 300 for the TTL and here you have to add few targets. Now this all target IP address you can get from the google or the link in the description and you just have to add all this target here and these all ip addresses are dns of uh, github now here you have to add all this dns provider ip to your domain provider's dns management system so once you add all the dns record and just click on save and this all the things will be save and now you have to go to your github account again now go to settings and go to all the way down and find github pages and here you have to add a custom domain now just go to this custom domain section and just type your new custom domain and click on save now you have to wait uh maybe five minutes maybe a one hour or maybe a whole day so once you wait up to a 24 hours not more it will not take uh more than 24 hours to update everything so once you done that Whenever you try to visit your 
visit your website with your github url it will redirect you to your uh custom domain and whenever you are try you to visit your website with your custom domain and it will open your website and that's it about this github hosting and that's it about how you can connect your custom domain to your github hosting now if you want explanation of this video then watch this video continue now first of all we added a cname file in our repository of our website which tell github.com that uh, whenever someone try to visit our username.github.io you have to redirect that url to your custom url or custom domain so that's why we added a cname file in the repository of our website next we added a cname record and a record in our domains provider dns management system cname record tells our system that whenever someone try to visit our custom domain dns management system have to look ip address of our github.io's domain Next we added some a record in DNS management system of our domain provider which tell our uh, DNS management system about whenever someone try to visit our github url which is exactly same as our custom domain then you have to look the ip address of domain name server of github.com who has record of our website ip address then finally domain name server of our github tells the ip address of our website and and our computer look for that ip address and then finally we have our web page now as a human we can't remember the ip address of uh, all the websites so we just enter the url of website and then request go to somewhere on the internet and then finally the request go to a registrar of our domain then a registrar of our domain tells the ip address of our website where our files of our website is present then finally we look for that particular ip address and we get all the files present in that ip address which is our website this is how dns work so guys this is for this video i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notification of all future videos and if you haven't followed me in my social media then you can follow me in my social media from the link in the description of the video and this is the best hangout meet you soon in my next video